Uh, I love Rosebud Woman products. Today I'm gonna show you almost their whole product line and tell you the things I loved, the things I liked, and the things I wish worked for me better. So to me, Rosebud seems like they are authentic, they're genuine, and they're creating beautiful, high quality products that are speaking to women the right way. So Rosebud says our pure plant-based formulations are effective, cruelty-free, sustainably made, hormone-free, and toxin-free. But I really don't think that that does enough to really describe what this brand is about. I was so excited to do this review as Rosebud products are on the higher end and until just recently we couldn't get them in Canada and so I had to make a special order during COVID to bring them up here from the United States. I've also given these products a good solid trial and so I'm looking forward to getting into this with you. So Rosebud Woman is a female founded, family run company that creates intimate self and, and body care for women. The founder, Christine, started Rosebud Woman in response to women's unaddressed needs and to encourage women to love and care for their whole selves. Christine had noticed that intimate wellness products were really primarily designed for use with a sexual partner, and so she couldn't find clean and effective products to provide comfort, relief, and pleasure for all women, whether it be for period pain or menopause symptom relief. I also really liked finding out she has a 20-year background studying and teaching yoga, um, tantra, collective trauma healing, plant-based medicines, and intentional living. This woman seems like such a powerhouse to me. She's got four kids an MBA from Northwestern, she's a PhD candidate in philosophy, and she just seems like she would be a really great mentor for women's self-love and self-care, so that's awesome. I like that she has a product for everyone, whether it's to do with menstruation or menopause, although I would say that these are more mature products uh, with a higher price point, and I would say that she's really taken into consideration the needs of women who are going through menopause, those that suffer from vaginal dryness and irritation and, and just want a really luxurious product that works. So they're really inconspicuous. It honestly looks like they could be beautiful cosmetics or a nice skincare line. They've honestly just nailed it with this. Product number one is their most popular product. It's called the Honor Everyday Balm. Total transparency, it's about 90 bucks US or $125 Canadian. So I need this to be well worth the money and I would say it definitely delivers. One thing worth mentioning is that I love their website. You can click on every single ingredient they use and read about the body benefits, what it does, where it's from, and they also link studies and literature that they use to support the ingredients that they use. So this balm contains chamomile, primrose, jojoba, rosemary, meadow foam, all of this good stuff. The Honor Everyday Balm hydrates, it conditions, it replenishes intimate skin. Basically it provides relief for, for the dryness that often arises in menopause or pregnancy. It's made to improve skin density and provide moisture for the inner and outer labia. I also read that some women use it for intimate lubrication as well. I would just say be mindful of any scents that might irritate you. So Rosebud recommends that it's kept on the nightstand or bedside table and used before bed as kind of a luxurious self-care ritual. Massage yourself, starting at your hip bones, work into the pressure points on your pubic bone, the inner thigh and the groin, and then onto the inner and outer labia, and then finally the inner folds, including the clitoris. Honor is especially useful for perineal massage, or for dry skin, cracked nipples, basically anywhere that you need the moisture. Something to note, all of the products are completely safe for ingestion and I have tasted some of them. The other thing that's great is that their product descriptions are bang on. It's often hard to find products that really live up to the descriptions you read about on product pages and Rosebud does. So just as their Honor Balm holds up when it comes to the moisture and hydration side of things, their Soothe Cream holds up for irritation and redness and swelling. So for me, this is my favorite product of the line. So the second product in the lineup is the Soothe Cream. The Soothe Skin Cream calms and cools redness, reduces irritation, minimizes swelling, all that great stuff. It provides relief to chafed, dry, itchy, and inflamed intimate skin. It protects skin before and after intimate activity. And you can also use it before sports for chafing. It reduces inflammation in grown hairs. I just love it. 
Also, it has this sort of minty smell and I find it just leaves me feeling so fresh and cool down there all day. I love using this because it just works so well with my skin and, and honestly makes me smell like a frozen minty rose. I love it. Now, ingredients. So there's so many good ingredients in this cream. It's super rich. It's got high grade Arnica for swollen skin, chamomile and calendula, which really calm and soothe. It addresses redness and irritation beautifully. And it also contains peppermint for that cooling. I honestly use this for everything. Some products have to be reserved for nighttime because of their oil content, obviously. This for me is like a go everywhere, do everything cream. It absorbs instantly and I can wear it with everything. I don't have to worry about it staining my clothing. Honestly, I travel with it because I like things that don't irritate me. I like things that heal my skin and things that are multi-purpose. So post waxing, post shaving, chafing, heat rash. Um, you could use it on aching and sore muscles because it has Arnica and so it just really helps itchy skin. So next up is this spicy little number. This is the Arouse Stimulating Serum. It's a stimulating serum designed to increase blood flow and lubrication. It's not a traditional lubricant and it wasn't designed to be a lubricant for sex, but rather it's something that you can use on your own um, or before sex just to start bringing sensation to that area and just promote your body's lubrication process. Now, because I have such sensitive skin, I have to be really careful with stuff like this because like everything burns in my vagina. So I was pretty hesitant at first. I did read up on this product and I made sure that I tried it on my lips and mouth first. Um, I tried it on my outer labia before moving inwards to make sure that I didn't have a reaction. This one definitely is going to vary by individual because if you have skin that's already irritated, this product could be too much for you. If your skin isn't easily irritated, then I say go for it and try it. It does have a nice light rose scent. Um, it's a little bit flowery. It has kind of a spicy taste to it, so it's gonna make your mouth tingle for sure. It has traditional aphrodisiac ingredients like maca, damiana, suman, ashwagandha, as well as natural stimulants like spilanthes. I think I'm saying that right. Anyways, I do know that when hormones drop, arousal becomes an issue. I really experienced that myself when I was on the pill and even when I came off the pill. All that good estrogen and testosterone starts going down and so I noticed I wasn't as lubricated, I wasn't as turned on, I was drier, sex became more painful and so I think it's really cool that companies like Rosebud are trying to address that need. I would say use this solo at first. Get used to the sensation of plumping, warming, and then introduce it before sex. The website says to use it progressively to allow the body to relearn how to lubricate. And, and I agree with that. And lastly, the cleansing products. So Rosebud has refresh, cleansing wipes, and also a cleansing spray. These are the products I wanted to love so badly, given the ingredients and the price point. Some of the ingredients are aloe vera, witch hazel, and honeysuckle, but, but there's absolutely no fragrance. I haven't yet found a wipe that's been a game changer for me. These are super convenient. I travel with them. I keep them in my purse, my bag. I take the refresh spray when I go to work out or do something where I can't immediately shower after. But for me, they don't neutralize odor. So for whatever reason, they don't mix well with my body chemistry uh, in that sense. So I've used these in my groin area, my inner thighs. I like the products, I like that they're unscented, but if my concern is the smell I get from sweating, then these don't really work for me. If odor isn't a concern for you, I think that if convenience is what you need and you can afford the price point for the ingredients in these cleansers, go for it. All right, so that's a wrap on Rosebud. I need to give this company kudos as well. I am on their mailing list, and one thing this company does so, so well is their e-newsletters. I never feel pressured to buy anything. It's not spam. They don't send me too much or too frequent, and the topics are so, so great. They are informative. The authors that they have, the people they feature, and the content that they send me is really amazing. So 
Again, from what I've seen, I love what they're doing, I love what they're about, and I can highly recommend their products.